Robert in Mission Viejo, California. Hey, Robert, thanks for listening to Sirius XM. What's on your mind? Yeah, I'm, I'm just always stunned when someone can be so privileged that they can think that they have the right to tell somebody what to do. I want to point out that that quarterback makes that team more money than they pay him, or they wouldn't pay him that much. Yeah. This is the old don't bite the hand that feeds you crap that we hear all the time. Yeah, it's, good it's point. Bull. Good point. The yeah, owner of the team is a billionaire. Making them more money. They should be grateful to him, not the other way around. This is the typical misunderstanding people have in this country. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway. Well, you know. well, well said, uh, Robert. Thank you very much for that. Oh, it, it, it says here that you're a vet and that you would sit down during the protest or during the end. Yes, absolutely. Because you know what? You don't have to be a black guy to protest black people being abused. Yeah. And you don't have to be a black guy to know that black people are being abused. What you have to do is you have to be someone who's listening and hearing honestly what people are saying. Yeah. And they are telling the truth. And, and that is a true thing. And it's about time. You know, white privilege is not a black problem. It is a white problem that white people lay on black people. Yeah. It's also something that keeps white people and black people from forming a common cause and dealing with the problems that we have in common. Right. And, 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 and by the way, this is only one of a number of uh, what I think are reasonably good reasons to, to protest during the national anthem or any other, you know, hyper militaristic displays of hyper patriotism. Uh, you know, another thing to protest would be, you know, the, the, the constant use of military symbolism. The fact that we're involved in four or five, you know, seemingly never ending wars that never should, you know, that we got lied to in, in, into in the, in, the, in the first place and never should have been, you know, doing um, the, fa the fact that the, the Pentagon is, you know, can't account for two trillion dollars and has never been audited. It's the only agency, the government that since they passed into federal law in the 90s, that that every agency in the government has to have an annual audit. The Pentagon is, has has exempted itself illegally, in my opinion. Um, I mean, there's a there's a lot of things to protest um, that have to do with this whole uh, yes sir yes sir hyper militarization stuff. I you know it's uh, as well as the racial aspect of it. I realize that was his thing, but uh, there are there are other issues too. And I I just think you know protest. This country was birthed in protest. Robert, thank you for the call.